Hey, what's going on guys? Gold171 here. Today I'm going to show you how to modify Project Gotham Racing 2 on the original Xbox. Now before we begin, you're going to have to have a modified Xbox console. The reason being is because you're going to need to have a copy of the game backed up to the hard drive itself in order to be able to modify the in-game files. You can use any dashboard that it comes with a modified Xbox, including Unleash X, Avalanche, you could use XBMC, whichever you prefer. So long as there is a file explorer feature within, it should work. On Unleash X, we're going to go to File Explorer. We're going to go to the root of your games, which would either be F or G, depending on how you set it up. We're going to go to Games. We're going to scroll down to Project Gotham Racing 2. All right, so I have two different PGRs. There's the vanilla and then there's the modded. So I have two different ones because I like to play online on X-Link. And so I'll use the original for that one because obviously we can't cheat. So first I'll show you what it looks like originally. So within the folder, the game folder, you're going to find the card dynamics folder. So within this folder is going to have all the configuration files for each vehicle in the game so today we're going to just focus on one and we're going to choose the noble so press a on that we will bring this up now we'll have a full list here of different vehicle settings that we can alter and change however we want a lot of these don't really have very noticeable differences but there are a handful of them where it's very noticeable and very fun to tinker around with so the ones that are most important that you're going to notice right away is anything to do with the engine or the power or, or even boost. So as you can see, it's turbocharged, which one means it's turbocharged, zero meaning it's not. This is our peak torque as well as the rev limit. The rev limit here is only set to 7,000 RPM, but you can actually raise this. If you raise the rev limit, you'll also have to raise the uh, the audio rev limit, which is right here. Okay, so we have our idle revs, which is just set to 900 for now. You can actually raise that. Here's our audio rev limit. So this has to match with the actual rev limit that you have set. So max revs are here 7,700. We can actually change this to around 10,000 RPM. I believe that's the actual max that the audio can go to. So we'll have these set to 10,000 RPMs each. And so the way that we'll do that is we'll actually press, uh, we'll press the white button. This will bring up our keyboard. So we can use the D-pad to move our cursor on the screen to the position we need. And then we can use the left stick to actually navigate on the keyboard. So we're going to go ahead and change this over but I'm going to just skip this for now because this is the original file. I'm just going to show you what the modified file looks like. Okay, so here is the modified INI file that I have created for this car. So you can compare it, you can rewind the video and compare it from then to now to see what I actually changed exactly because I did make this quite a few years ago, so I'm not 100% sure what's different. So what is going to be noticeably different is the max revs as well as the audio rev limit. These have both been set to 10,000 as well as the idle revs have been set to 1,000. Right here, our mass has been dropped down to only 950. This will make the car really light on its feet and actually quite agile and fun to drive. Right here is our drive type. This is set to two. And so the drive types go zero, one, and two. I believe one is front wheel drive and I believe that zero is rear wheel drive, two is four wheel drive. So for now, we're gonna set this to four wheel drive because that's just so much more fun that way. And so it is turbocharged, meaning one. If it was zero, it wouldn't be turbocharged. Again, our rev limit has been increased to 10,000. You have to make sure to change each one in order for it to work. We have six gears. Technically, the game can actually use seven gears, but it wasn't programmed completely. So if you do change it to seven gears, it doesn't really work, but it does. Like the number doesn't show up, but it does work. It does shift into seventh gear. So with that being said and our settings change, let's go ahead and go back. 
First, we're going to launch the vanilla PGR, so we can have a good comparison between the two. Okay, so we're going to go to Time Attack, we're going to go to Card Challenge, Track Specials, and we're going to choose a Noble. So this is what it's going to be like originally in the game. So yeah, fun car, right? Not too fast, you know, but still a fun car to drive. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to the modified version. Okay, so again, we're just going to go to Time Attack, Card Challenge, Track Specials, we're going to choose the Noble again, all the same settings, but now this is in the modified version of the game. right away you should be able to tell the difference. So as you can see, quite a bit faster and actually quite a bit hard to control as well. So. So yeah, you could tell it revs all the way up to 10,000 RPMs and it also is in four wheel drive. Kind of the main things of this mod. Launches right away. All the way up to 10 grand. I mean, I think this makes the car amazing. So much fun to drive. Okay guys, well that's about it. Uh, go ahead and tinker with different settings again. I will include a archive in the description below where I have different settings already preloaded for various cars that I am picked. So you can choose to just download that and install it to your Xbox instead of worrying about the configuration files. There's a handful of cars that you'll notice a difference. Most of the ones that are modified will say four wheel drive. You know, cars that are obviously four wheel drive, you'll see it say four wheel drive. So try those out. If not, go ahead and just modify any car that you want feel free to put a comment down below of your results and yeah have a good one